Hello there! There is a Star Wars television series that I really liked, and I probably will not get to watch a second season until 2025. Oh well, at least I have the action figures! Welcome to Unboxing the Boxes, my Star Wars collection. This is episode 182, the Black Series figures of Star Wars Andor. <laughs> Andor is one of my favorite Star Wars television series. It's got great writing, great directing, great acting, great sets, just basically great everything. And not a lightsaber to be seen. I enjoyed watching something in the Star Wars universe that didn't involve Jedi. And that might be why I decided to collect the Andor series. There are now nine figures in the collection, even though... The numbers only go up to eight. Yeah, I'll explain that as we go on. So before we get started, I just want to invite you to once again, like this video, share it with your friends. And of course, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel and hit that subscription bell. Now, what do you say we get started? The first one, number one of the Andor series, is Andor himself, Cassian Andor. And... In this particular figure, he is the Aldani Mission, which means he's wearing that Imperial armor that he used to get into the Imperial base. What does it say on the back of this? In an era filled with danger, deception, and intrigue, Cassian Andor embarks on a path that will turn him into the rebel hero who will challenge the evil Galactic Empire. Very nice figure. I do like this one. I especially like the armor he's wearing. The face is a pretty good capture, as you saw. And I think it's a great start to the Andor Black Action series. The second one is an Imperial Officer, number two. And when we look at this one, yeah, basically he's an Imperial Officer. He has a plastic or vinyl robe instead of cloth. And the only accessory he's got is a pistol. Just a kind of a generic Imperial officer. But what does it say about him? In an era filled with danger, deception, and intrigue, it basically says the same thing that was on the Cassian Endor one. That's kind of disappointing. I was hoping they'd have a different one on each one like they did on a lot of the other Black series. Well, you know me. Sometimes I forget what I got. And yes, this was one of them. I now have two Imperial Officers. So if I did dioramas and stuff, I could easily do a little changing on this one and have a second officer. But anyway, yeah, maybe in the future it could be traded for something else. Who knows? Let's go to number three. And number three is the Shore Trooper. First time we've really seen one of these. A Stormtrooper that's not in white armor. Nope, he is a... Uh, Kind of a beige armor, and to tell the truth, it looks sharp. I do like this. If we look at it a little bit more, we can see that uh, the helmet, I do like the helmet. That's kind of a unique helmet. The armor is very well detailed. I do like that. The pants even got a texture to them, which is nice. He does come with one pistol, and that seems to be about it. A very nice addition to the clone trooper or storm trooper or whatever you collect as far as those series. And yes, this one I also have a second one. Not sure why. You'd think that one I would remember having. But let's move on to number four, which is the Imperial Officer. Ferrix. The Ferrix Imperial Officer. And as we look at this one, um, pretty much just a generic face. Nothing too special there. The armor looks pretty good. I do like the chess armor that's on him. Not a whole lot of armor when you actually think about it. Does come with a rifle or with a pistol again. Kind of a long pistol, long barreled one. Pretty much that's it. Not a whole lot of coloring on him. He's pretty much just black. But still, a very nice figure for the collection. Yeah. Why? I don't know. 
but I got two of them. These four came with the open window, and that's how I like my Black Series figures. That's how I like any of my figures. I like to be able to see the figure. After these came out, starting with number five, Hasbro changed it to their plastic-free packaging, which, as you know if you've watched these videos, I really don't like. But I do like Andor. And I was able to find some of these figures on sale. So I decided, well, why not? May as well get them. The first one, which is number five, is Bix Colleen. She was a great character as far as the series go. I did like what she added to the story. But, like I said, as far as showing you, basically all I can show you is the uh, graphic that's on the front of the box. I can't actually show you the figure without opening it. And you know me, I don't like to open my figures. So there's Bix, number six, or I should say, number five. Number six is Luthen Rail, and this is a heavier one. Bix is very light. Luther is fairly heavy. And granted, he's a bigger guy, but I think part of the reason he's heavier is that cloak he's got. That cloak, I bet you, adds quite a bit of weight. Looks like he comes with two accessories. He comes with a knife and a pistol. And actually, if we look at the side of the uh, figure, it looks like he has a third accessory, which looks like a vial of something. Three accessories. We should check with Bix here. Bix has two accessories. She's got the uh, that little container, and it looks like some sort of knife or sword. So there's five and six. Number seven is Mon Matha, Senator Mon Matha. And when we look at this one, it looks like she's got her regal robes on there. And just from the looks of the graphic, I'd say I have to say they're plastic with this particular figure because from the looks of her elbows there, yeah, that's all hard plastic, nothing too fancy there. And as far as accessories go, not a single one, nothing listed on the side. But still, it is a, if it looks like this, it is a very good figure of Mon Matha. Number seven is Vel Sartha. And I like Vel. I thought she was a great character in the series. If we look at her figure, pretty much is a good likeness of Vel. Got the long rifle from the looks of it. And when we look at the side here, it looks like that's all we have is the rifle for the accessory. So not too bad a figure. A nice, addi nice addition to the collection. And that is number eight. The last one of the series is number eight, Cassian Andor. Yes, I did say number eight again, because Vel and Cassian both are number eights in this series. So somebody in marketing or packaging or something kind of screwed up there because one of these should be number nine. But when we look at Cassian, it looks like a very good figure of Cassian. The facial sculpt looks fantastic. And it looks like the cape he's wearing, or coat he's wearing, is just plastic. So no cloth or anything there. As far as uh, accessories go, from the looks of the side again, it looks like he just comes with a pistol. And that is about it. So there we have it. The nine figures in the Cassian Andor series, even though it's only numbered to eight. Well, what do you think of these figures? Oh, by the way, I have one more figure to show you. It's not part of Andor. In fact, it's part of the Obi-Wan TV series. I found this action figure on sale for under 20 bucks. And I thought, well, I got to get it because not only does it fit in with the Black Series Andor, of course, or Obi-Wan, but it fills a hole that I had in my Obi-Wan collection. And that is number nine, the Grand Inquisitor, and I like it in that we've got the open front again, so we can actually see the Grand Inquisitor. We look at the figure a little bit. It's a heavier figure again. He's wearing some good chest armor and shoulder armor on him. Got a fairly good facial sculpt there, and I do like that he comes with the double-bladed lightsaber. Still a nice figure for this collection, and you can't really see it. You can see a little bit here in the legs. But this figure does have a cloth cape that goes around him. 
and unfortunately it's buried behind the figure. Like I said, it was nice to find this on sale because it filled in another hole in my collection. This one for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Well, which one is your favorite? Do you even like these figures? Tell you what, leave a comment below and let me know what you think of the television series for Andor. Like I said, it is one of my favorite even though there's no lightsabers, there's no Jedi, and it's just the plain common man, pretty much. It was kind of nice and refreshing to see a new storyline in the Star Wars universe. Well, until next time, may the Force be with you, and keep collecting!